Oh, Ming. I'm mean, oh, Sadiq. I call you Ming because you look like, like, you know, Ming the Merciless from uh, the Flash Gordon series. But this is not only to you. It's for all Muslims who are trying to attack Christianity and the Bible. So, for you Muslims who want to attack Christianity and the Bible, you got to pay attention to what I'm about to say to my uh, Muslim apologetics friend, uh, Sadiq Malik. Uh, I, I keep on calling him Sadiq Arminga. I, for, <laughs> I forgot his name. But anyway, if you want to see his videos, he looks like uh, Ming the Merciless from, uh, again, Flash Gordon. But I want to tell you something here. If you, Muslims, or Ming here, uh, want to attack Christianity and the Bible, you have to get out of Islam. You have to get out of it. You just got to totally drop it, you know, because uh, if you think the Bible sounds stupid, you know, nowhere in the Bible does it talk about meteorites burning up the atmosphere, being literal stars chasing away Satan from spying on God. Yeah, like it does in the Quran. It has that, uh, that meteorites are actual stars, not bringing up the Earth's atmosphere, but stars chasing away Satan to keep, from spying, to keep him from spying on Allah in his heaven. You know? Nowhere does it say that in the Bible. Also, nowhere in the Bible does it say that uh, uh, sperm comes from the ribs and backbone. Yeah, where, like the Quran says, see, uh, there's no mention of the testicles. It says that uh, basically this water, the sperm, uh, and also according to the Hadith, it comes from women too. That this sperm comes from between, <laughs> it comes from the ribs or something like that, you know. And that's not in the Bible either. So if you attack the Bible, you have to deal with that in Islam. You see, and uh, also nowhere in the Bible does it. Uh, Say that mountains are placed down to keep down earthquakes. So according to Muhammad in uh, in uh, Al Tabari Tasvir, uh, the mountains are placed down by Allah to keep down earthquakes uh, due to the earth being spread out on the back of a giant fish or whale. Yeah. That's not in the Bible either. So if you think the Bible is stupid for whatever it says, you have to deal with that in Islam. Also in the Quran, the Quran talks about ants literally talking, uh, understanding speech vocal speech but they don't communicate that way and they don't and and there's i bet if you if you if you could communicate with that they would know who solomon was they wouldn't know who 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 they wouldn't be up on world human events and they wouldn't know the existential threat feet posed them like the quran has you believe you see so i mean really again if you are going to attack the Bible, you or the or is or Christianity? You got to get out of Islam, because you end up looking like the biggest hypocrite and idiot. <laughs> it's like saying, "Ah, oh, you got uh, some paint on your face," when you yourself have the paint of a clown on your face. You know what I mean? I mean, talk about the calling the kettle black. You know, you need to get out of Islam if you're going to attack Christianity and the Bible. For one thing. The Quran says it confirms the before scriptures, the book that makes people the book, Jews and Christians. Yeah. There's Quran 1094 telling Muslims, actually telling Muhammad, uh, who's the exalted man that Muslims are supposed to uh, uh, use an example to live by, uh, to go to those who've been reading the before scriptures, in other words, reading the Bible. Which makes no sense if the Bible's corrupted, you see? And there's Quran. Uh, 568 that tells Jews and Christian, Christians they have no ground to stand upon unless they stand firm upon the Torah and Injil, which basically is the Bible. Which makes no sense that the Bible's corrupted. And there's Quran 547 that tells Christians they have no that, 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 that tells Christians that they are to use the Injil, the gospel, the New Testament, to judge their end of the quote, clear signs, the clear book, the book that explains things fully in detail, the Quran. You know, which again makes no sense if the New Testament or Gospel is corrupted, you know? So, again, O Ming, or Sadiq, yeah, O Muslim, if you're going to attack the Bible and attack Christianity, you need to get out of Islam, you know? If you, if you, if you attack the Bible thinking that it's evil, then you have Quran 547 to deal with, which tells Muslims they can have sex with someone's married, someone's wife, if she's this of uh, the slave of that Muslim, so of uh, the Muslim, uh, forbidden to you are married women. You can't have sex with married women, except, and that's a key word here. So you can have sex with married women, except who, those whom your right hand possess, your slave, 
You know, that's evil. So if you think the Bible is evil, there's Quran 547. There's also Quran 2, 178. That says a slave for the slave. In other words, if someone kills your slave, you can kill their slave. So where is the rights of that slave? You know? And you say the Bible is evil. Uh, well, hey, if, if, if you think uh, the Bible is evil, you have to deal with that in the Quran. You know? You have to deal with the, uh, uh, the be able to lie, Quran 328, which tells Muslims not have uh, Jews and Christians as friends unless they guard against them. In other words, they really don't take them as friends. In other words, they just act like they're, you can just act like you're a friend of Jew and Christian. In other words, be a hypocrite. Yeah. So, really, if you think Christianity is evil, you have to deal with Islam, which is even more evil. If you think Christianity is stupid, you have to deal with the the Quran, which and, and and Islam, which is even more stupid. So really, if you want to attack Christianity, and the Bible, you've got to get out of Islam. Got to get out of it, you know. But 